Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. About two years ago, I posted a video on how you can add additional clocks for different time zones in Windows 10 and Windows 11, which appear on the calendar flyout in both operating systems. Now, since I posted, recently for Windows 11 users, the method to enable these world clocks, or also additional clocks as they are also known, has changed. For Windows 10, it remains exactly the same as how I posted it in that previous video, which I'll leave linked if you want to find out how you can enable these clocks on Windows 10. But for Windows 11 now, on version 24H2, soon to move to 25H2, the method to enable these additional clocks has changed. So just a quick kind of an update video, how you can do this in 2025. Now, previously, if I head to a screen grab I took from that previous video, previously you would head to your settings, time and language page, date and time, and you would head right down to the bottom where you would see additional clocks. That is not available anymore in the settings. And when you clicked on additional clocks, it would open up the legacy date and time dialog and menu that could be found in the control panel. And then you could set up those clocks. Now that's not the case anymore on Windows 11. If you're updated running the updated version of Windows 11, which would be Windows 11 version 24H2 and also Windows 11 25H2. So how you would do it now, it's a very similar process, but slightly different. So how we do this in 2025 is you can either just right click and head to adjust date and time. But just to show you the full path, if we head to our settings, head over to time and language, date and time. As mentioned, additional clocks is no longer here at the bottom. So what you'd have to do now is you would have to click on show time and date in the system tray. Expand that menu because by the way, additional clocks are not enabled by default. So you would have to do it manually to enable them. And here you'll see additional clock one and additional clock two. You only get two and yeah, you'll see a toggle called change. You click on that now. Now it opens up a new kind of more modern looking menu, not the old legacy control panel dialog and menu. And what you would do is you would select a time zone for the actual additional clock you want to set up. I've chose Pacific Standard Time, Mexico. And then you just enter a display name. You just type that in and that's for Vancouver. And then you click on change and we can see it set up that clock. You do this the exact same for the second one. Find your time zone. I'm using UTC plus 10 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Because I want to set up for Sydney. I'd enter Sydney, click change. There we go. That's my second clock. And now if we head back to our calendar fly out, you can see Vancouver and Sydney are my chosen additional clocks. Obviously, you can select any region. And that has now been added to the flyout menu. So that's how you do it in 2025 with a fully updated version of Windows 11. And if you want to remove them, what you would do is you would follow the process once again, just reverse the steps. You would head over to your additional clocks. You would click on the three dotted menu, click reset, click reset. And now you'll see if I head back, those have been removed. So that's how you can set up those additional world clocks on Windows 11 in 2025. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.